almost 40 years, Thunder Bay Grill has been a destination in Davenport's north side. And there is a reason this has been a Quad City staple for so long. I'm gonna head into the kitchen and see what they're cooking up. All right, Zach, what are we gonna be doing? So right now I'm gonna prepare for you our chicken marsala ravioli. Chicken marsala ravioli, all right. What'd yeah. you got there? That was a little bit of butter? Yep, a little bit of butter. We're gonna let that, uh, along with the pan, heat up. Then we're gonna add in our herbs, garlic, our house smoked chicken thighs that we've shredded. We'll build that sauce up with some marsala wine, do a nice flambe. Finish it with some heavy cream as that reduces over our ravioli, gives it a nice thick and sweet sauce. Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Tell me a little bit about the chicken thigh smoking. So we have a, uh, a fairly decent sized smoker in the back part of our kitchen here. Um, we utilize it a lot for several different aspects, whether it's our meatloaf, our chicken thighs, for example. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to bring in some, a lot of that Midwest flair, like we have uh, a lot of people in the area love smoking. We love doing stuff sure, like that. Sure. And bringing that subtle hint of mesquite into this classic nutty aromic uh, marsala is just a great pair. That sounds great. What do we got sauteing here? So right there we've got some uh, mushrooms, red onion, green onion, parsley, and garlic. Look at that. That sounds fantastic. So we'll get that going a little bit. Once right. that starts to saute, I'm actually going to grab some Marsala wine. All this right. is where the fun starts to happen. I like fun. <laughs> so oh. we're burning off that alcohol. It, um, as we cook wine, it starts to reduce, becomes a lot sweeter. Sure. Um, specifically, Marsala and Sherry have those subtle, like, fruity and um, nutty notes to yeah. it. It really starts to bring it out. As we're cooking off that alcohol, I'm going to add our smoked chicken thighs. Oh, nice. That looks great. What do you got going on over here? Over here, I've got one of our classic staples, uh, shrimp jambalaya. Very classic Creole Cajun dish, being that um, one of our main uh, themes here is that we are a steakhouse um, with some seafood Cajun flair. Sure. I figured this would be a great option to show you guys. Yeah. Yeah, tell me a little bit more about the menu and its development. So we actually have, in a couple of months, we're doing a new menu rollout that uh, will have some new items on it. One of them you'll be able to see today doing a, uh, a main style dill lobster roll. Awesome. Um, but along with those lines, doing uh, a couple of different things, really showcasing uh, not only more of some of the other Art of America properties that are associated with us, um, doing some cross utilization from uh, family favorites across the board. Sure, sure. But also really um, revamping some of the stuff. This restaurant's been around for 40 plus years. <laughs> right. We're always competing with local and new, so oh, yeah. the only way to do it is to do. Listen, you gotta, you gotta change it up. That is starting to smell fantastic. So now we're gonna hit this with some heavy cream. All right. As that, or as that heavy cream comes to a boil, it's going to start to reduce. We're actually going to allow that sauce to reduce over our ravioli and sure. create a nice thickened sauce. Oh, perfect. Perfect. So tell me a little bit about your experience. How long have you been here? So come August, I've been here uh, two years. Um, I uh, started in sports entertainment catering. Uh, doing big venues, annual events like Kentucky Derby and Annapolis 500. Um, COVID hit and those kind of big <laughs> events went away for a while. Sure, sure. Um, so I wanted to transition to something different, something new for me anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to restaurants. Yeah. Fell in love with it. The chaos, the, the quick <laughs> pace. Um, it's one of those things where in this restaurant, because of our catering and our banquets, I still get a high volume, sure. but I get a lot more of that fast pace intensity that I fell in love with. Sure. Oh, let me take a quick look at this. Yeah, absolutely. This looks really good. That, fantastic looking. Plenty of sausage, plenty of shrimp. That looks fantastic. So we've got our uh, reduction. It's going, it's reducing. Yep, it's actually almost done. Um, last thing we need to add in is going to be some pasta bread. 
So all of our pastas here come with some garlic crostinis. We take butter, crushed herbs, garlic. Mm, sure. Toast that off in the oven. Well, it's got a nice reduced sauce. That looks good. Wow. And you can really smell that marsala. That, that smells fantastic. We just finish with a little bit of parsley. A little bit of parsley, brine it up. Yep. And then once we have our pasta burn out of the oven here, about 30, 45 seconds, you just finish it yeah. yourself. All right. And there it is. I'll tell you what, this chicken smells fantastic. And I'm sure that nice crunch with the crustinis, that's going to make a big difference as well. Oh, man. Zach, I cannot wait to dive into this.